this is David from Big Bits, and in this video, we're going to continue our TradingView Pine Script development, and we are going to take a look at a couple of different things that we haven't before, and we are going to look at an indicator that I've published, uh, and it isn't part of the uh, series that we've done before. It's actually its own indicator. It's called Volume Effectiveness, and you can actually find it in the public library. There you go, volume effectiveness. And what this indicator does, and the reason we're using it, is because it works with volume, something that doesn't really chart well with the price. Uh, in the past, we've just been working with moving averages. So in this video, we're going to work with volume, which doesn't really uh, overlay well with uh, the price. You can see all of it's down here. It, it kind of looks good for this particular chart, the way we're using the volume, but uh, we're going to be working with negative numbers uh, with our particular volume indicator. So what we're doing is we're actually setting uh, this indicator not to overlay on the main chart, but it's uh, going to be its own kind of chart here. So uh, that's one of the things we're doing, and of course we're working with volume. Now what is this indicator all about and why did I make this particular indicator? Uh, I made this indicator to help you measure the effect a single unit of volume has on the price. Now if we uh, zoom in here a bit, see there's a really large candle here. Uh, this is the actual volume on the candle itself. But you can see compared to the next candle the effectiveness of that volume is much higher. Uh, that's because the price increased more with less volume than on the next candle. I hope that makes sense. Uh, essentially, for every Bitcoin on this particular chart, the Bitcoin USD chart, for every Bitcoin that was traded with this amount of volume, this is the percentage of price it was able to uh, increase uh, the price on the daily candle from open to close. So from our open price here, considering all of the volume throughout the day this is where it ended up and the effect of course is that change divided by the volume and why does that matter it just kind of gives you an idea of uh, basically how much the volume is it kind of gives you an idea of uh, how stacked the order books were just with that a glance it may or may not be useful but it is a good example to show you how we're working with volume and uh, how we're showing you these particular uh, non overlaid charts and you can see we can actually kind of pick up on the trends by smoothing these averages out so it's uh, it sounds like it may or may not be useful when you're just describing it. But when you look at the chart, uh, we're actually able to plot it out to where it's actually kind of useful and you can kind of see that it uh, aligns pretty well with the price movement and you can uh, take it and use it as part of whatever suite of indicators you have to try and figure that out for yourself. But as part of the tutorial, let's go ahead and get into the actual script here. Uh, we have all of our other things that we, we usually have in the other videos. Um, the first thing you're going to notice different really is we have to set the overlay equal to false. This, what, this is what makes it its own little chart here instead of uh, overlaying on top of this particular chart, the main chart. Uh, I've also set the precision because uh, although with um, Bitcoin on Coinbase, these percentages are just fine uh, at, you know, four or five, but other coins, other trading symbols, the percentage movement on price uh, per volume would be much, much lower. So that's something to keep in mind. But since the chart is relative, it doesn't really matter uh, what the scale is over here. It could be eight, nine, ten zeros or more in percentage points, but when you're looking at them comparatively, you can still kind of get an idea of what's going on. Now we've added a few features in here. Let's go ahead, ahead and take a look at what we've done. We've made it to where we can hide or show the bars, so now you can just kind of see the trend, and we can hide or show the smoothed uh, moving average. We can also adjust the moving average period, the type of moving average, and we can also set this to where it's going to be an absolute effectiveness. Now that kind of just disregards whether it's a red candle or a green candle, and all of the values are positive. This is how much effect the volume had 
just in general, uh, regardless of direction of the price. I'm going to turn that off. I don't really care for that too much. And we're going to hit OK. Now, I've already covered how to do inputs and everything like that. So if you don't know how to do that, go back to the other videos. Uh, I did create this section that pretty much does all the logic for us for calculating the effective volume. I've already told you uh, we are going to use the close price divided by the open. And then we're going to subtract one from that and then multiply it by 100 to get the uh, percentage change. Okay, so this right here. Just so you're clear, this is calculating the percentage change for the day, and then we just divide that by the volume for the day. It's really simple. Uh, on this particular calculation, we're using the absolute value. That is what gives us these values. It's the same thing, it's just if the number was negative, now it's positive. That's pretty simple stuff. We've also already covered this function on how to uh, use different moving averages as an option. Uh, those were in the previous videos. And of course, we set the value and then we plot our information on the chart. Now, it's quite simple. Uh, as you can see, we just have the smooth line and the bars and this is it. That's all there is. And to use volume, it, it's just a, um, a, a property of the chart for this particular candle that you're on. So it's similar to the close or the open. You just call volume and it knows that you're talking about the volume for the current candle that it's processing. And that's all there is to it. We have our chart overlaid. Uh, well, not overlaid. It's on its own chart. Uh, the indicator is on its own chart. And it's using volume, which is something we haven't used before and it's smoothing that out and this is how you can make your own indicator that's not on the same chart and you can actually plot more and more information on this single overlay as long as you do it all into the same indicator now if you go to do other indicators and they all have their overlay set to false you'll notice that it's going to add other charts so for example another one that i've done let's go to the public library smooth rsi Excellent. You can see this one also is not uh, an overlay on the main chart, but since it's not part of the same indicator, it's going to create its own chart and it has all of its information laid on that chart. Now, that pretty much covers it for this particular video. If you want to see this indicator that we talked about here or the smooth RSI indicator, then please check out my profile on TradingView. You can see I have that published here. It's got quite a bit of likes. So we're starting to get a lot of followers and likes on the account in general. There's all of the scripts from the tutorials before. So if you like this video, please leave a like. And if you like all the stuff that we're doing here and you want to see other examples of things uh, that are being done, please subscribe. There's going to be more videos coming up in the future. I think in one of the next videos, we're going to be doing a scoring system on the indicators we're going to kind of combine multiple indicators and score them and give confidence levels and basically tell you in that uh, particular indicator whether it's a good time to buy or sell and of course it's not going to be trading advice it's just going to be an example but uh, it's going to give you an example of how these things are actually done where people take multiple indicators into consideration for a single strategy as well as uh, plotting them on an indicator to give them an idea of how confident they really can be on a, a single trade. So that's all there is for today. Thank you and have a good one.